All right, I want you to think back to when we were working on equations and we came up with the understanding that there were some equations, most equations have exactly one answer, but some equations had no solution and some had infinite solutions. Do you guys recall that? And we called those special cases. Well, this is a special case for factoring polynomials. And it's called factoring difference of squares. And difference and squares becomes really important as we're solving these. So difference is because there will always be a subtraction symbol here. I'll get to the reason for squares in the name in a moment. First, let's set up our criteria up here. What power are we at? Two, so this is still a quadratic. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> and not only is it a quadratic, but there's something different here. How many terms does this have? So instead of a trinomial, this is a binomial. <coughs> and then the last fact about this is where the squares comes in. This is a longer um, reason, but or qualifier. This is going to say must be able to take square root of a and c. And again, we'll go through the steps where this will make sense in just a moment. The example we're going to use for this one is we are going to factor 81x squared minus 36. Are you beginning to see where the squares comes from? 81 is something we could use a square root from, yes, isn't it? And it's, so is 36. And the other thing that's important to note here is that this x is also squared. The quadratic can be squared as well. So, where the power of 2 can be squared. Here's our steps. Step 1, we're going to take the square root of a and we're going to place it first in the parentheses. So let's set up our parentheses and then we'll talk through what that step looks like. We're going to take the 81x squared and we're going to square root it. 81's answer is going to be 9 and x is going to be just x. And then we're going to place it first in, oops I should have said both parentheses. So this is going to have a 9x here and a 9x here. Step two, we're going to take the square root of c and place it last in both parentheses. Oops, I'm sorry, thank you. Zoom out there. Again, step two is take the square root of C and we're going to place it last in both parentheses. What's in our C place here? 36. 
what's the square root of 36 equal to? So we're going to take that 6 and we're going to place it in both parentheses in the back. And then to finish our parentheses, we make one parentheses positive and one parentheses negative. <coughs> that's true. And that's it. So I put a plus here and I put a minus here. But of course, we want to check this to prove that it works. So let's set up our box. We're going to have a 9x here and a positive 6, and 9x here and a negative 6. And let's solve our box. What do you notice is happening with our like terms? It's going to be in a zero, right? When I combine these like terms, I get zero x. What happens if I multiply zero times x? It's a zero. So if we go back up here, that's why this isn't a trinomial. You can see it once we do the box, right? Every time with a difference of squares, that's why this is a um, binomial instead of a trinomial, because every single time the B is always zero. So with that, before we start gluing, we are going to put some practice problems in our notebooks. <clears throat> I've already glued in mine from fourth period, so I'm just going to show you what we're doing. On the right page, we will be gluing the purple, but please don't glue it yet because then you'll be writing on wet pages. But I would like you on the left side to write these three practice problems down. Oops. So on the right side, we will be gluing the purple, but on the left, you're going to leave space for you to do these practice problems that go with that purple paper. Rose, pink, I've been calling it purple all day. Gold, don't do yet. Not yet. And then, are we ready for the next three? Next, your yellow is going to go to the right. Look what happened. I glued on my pen that is not waterproof. Here's the three problems I want you to write down to practice for the yellow. These will be available if you want to come up and get them in a moment if I go too fast. And then we have three more practice problems that are going to go with the blue. They'll be here. 
So these will be on the back of the page. It's got the yellow on it. 